Hey guys, off from Mud Mo's today. We're gonna be doing POS820 chain swap update. Enjoy. So here we have the racing mode. There's the MST206 out of it. Crazily enough, this thing's been in there for more than two years, and I've done nothing to it. I just threw these gears in here so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. But I've got a reverse chain sprocket. It's a 10 tooth. There's also a 9 tooth I've seen, like this one. One of the biggest differences is the 9 tooth, pretty weak, 10 tooth, a lot stronger. So, that's a big difference. I definitely advise you get a 10 tooth reverse train sprocket if you're going to do this. Um, I'm not sure which PLS transactors have this, but just seeing a Spiso. What is this Spiso? This is a Spiso. And it's also pretty weak compared to that big one. And it has way less splines. So make sure you get a peerless. Um, I believe that this has, even though there's splines missing here, I believe it has 50 splines. Whereas the brake has about 36, I think. Because, yes, it doesn't fit on there correctly. So, 50 splines. Reverse chain sprocket fits on there from a peerless transaxle. The direction of which way you put it on matters. Um, you can flip it this way and get it more away from the case. But that's just kind of how I aligned it, depending on where this was. So we've got the differential, pretty much all stock except for the modification to fit this 16 tooth sprocket. It's a 40 pitch chain, which means 40 pitch. Even this reverse chain is 40 pitch, but 40 pitch means it's half an inch from from here to here. Um, let me grab a chain. As you can see, uh, this chain, which is your standard 40 pitch go kart chain, does fit a little bit loosely on this reverse chain, but it fits tight and correct on this 40 pitch sprocket. No real big deal, it just means this is a little bit not as wide as your standard typical go cut 40 chain but the 40 chain and the 40 chain is really what makes this happen if this was a say a 35 pitch maybe you just want a 35 pitch sprocket but luckily peerless used the 40 pitch chain so 40 pitch sprocket is what I put on this differential gear this has just been laved flat so that can be slid on and four holes were milled to drive a couple four to be exact pins so those pins are in there to take all of the power those are in there, they're pretty tight take all the power and then there's a few tack welds just to make sure this thing is going to slide around and you can see there's pretty good clearance and when I put this chain on you can see it's got enough clearance in there it's not going to hit but I'll show you now what happened and what happened with that hole in the case. So I had these nylon blocks sitting down right in there. I put one in there as an example. Something like that. There's also two holes in the case to mount them. That fits pretty good as you can see. It's not going to be hitting. But what happened is when you have all your master links and half links and stuff It gets pretty tight. The master link barely makes it by, but the half link is the big deal. If I can set, just to keep it like that, but even when I'm trying to still slide this chain on, 
you can hear it's grinding. And what happened is A, or number one, number one what happened, that's hitting, which caused a bunch of mokes all the way around that hub from this little tiny half link right there that has that caudal pin. And it actually broke that off, which let the caudal pin loose, let that out, and just blew up inside. So that happened because this was rubbing. Secondly, on these, you can see it kind of starts out pretty skinny on the right side, and then it gets really narrow, and it gets really thick over here on this side. So that indicates that the chain was trying to slide, it was trying to go off to this side. So that's which way these are curved. This was too weak. If it was stronger, it probably could have helped keep the chain in the right spot. But it just dug it to the side and kept the chain keep on rubbing. And that's how it all happened. best bet is to get a new case which there's actually a case on eBay and surprisingly the guy's about 20 minutes from me so I'll probably go get that case um, because that's gonna be a little bit tricky to weld and welding all the way around and sealing it which the sealant could be done inside with like some JB weld but I think the new case would be a lot easier so I'm gonna get that case Hopefully get it by time for next week's video. I should have everything to put it back together. Now, it's vocal time. I even found a couple of footies. Who knows? Oh yeah, check all of this out. That stuff look familiar. Those are the 633A Ropo differential gears. I have two sets of them because I actually just got done locking this bad boy up so that Ropo 633A up in there it's all locked up and I've actually got axle seals on auto because that one is leaking a little bit and the first set of lock plates went on this one the beast mode here so now I've got two of these locked up so until next time stay tuned for more